Hi there. Today's story is a really amazing book called After the Fall, written by Dan Santat. And you might remember about Humpty Dumpty and his great fall. Well, let's see what happens to Humpty afterwards. Have you ever been frustrated by something? Like really, really frustrated? Well, let's see if Humpty has some advice for us. Here's After the Fall. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on a wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to all the birds. Then one day I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand, but it was just an accident. It changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city. But I could never do it because I knew accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day I kept trying. And trying until I got it just right. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. What do you think might have happened? They always do. Uh-oh. What happened to his bird? It's on the other side of the wall. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I wasn't going to climb. Sorry, I decided I was going to climb that wall. Here's this plane right here on top. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. How would you be feeling right now if you were Humpty? Would you be remembering what happened last time you climbed the wall? Until I was no longer afraid. Wow, how does it feel to get right back up to the top of that wall? Can you see what he's doing with his arms? Looks like he's pretty proud of himself now. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. What happened to him? And learned how to fly. What happened to the egg? There you go. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed our story and the cool twist on Humpty Dumpty. Next time you're really frustrated by something or really scared about something that maybe didn't work out so well the first time, just think about Humpty Dumpty getting right back up on that wall. Hope you have a great rest of your day.